is it's Monday again and we're going to start with some math the same that we did last week. So in your math book I'd like you to write your date nice and neatly Monday 6th July 2020 and this week we're going to start looking at a quarter. So we spell the quarter Q-U-A-R-T-E-R -E and it looks like this one over four. Okay, I've done it sideways. You can also write it one over four. It's the same thing, okay? And then you are going to need probably a rubber and a pencil in case you need to rub something out or sharpen. A ruler, and I want you to go around your house and look for a square, okay? It's a square this way, and a circle. So teacher Tammy's found a square and a circle. And we're going to use these, and I'm going to show you how to draw them down. Okay, so once you've found your square and your circle, you can use them to make two squares and two circles. And take your time to do it as neatly as possible. You put the square on the page, and you go around it. Okay, and here. And then I did the same with my circle, you can see. And I went around it. And I went around it, whoop, on it. Okay, once you've done that, then we're going to divide them in half. See if you can do that, and then I'll show you what that looks like. So now we can see I've divided them in, uh, in half. If you didn't know how to do that, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to draw a line straight down the middle like this in all of them. Okay, and we've created a half. We've made one square into two parts one circle into two parts. But we're not doing a half anymore, we're doing a quarter. So we're going to split this again so we can look at a quarter and not a half. See if you can do it and I'll show you after. Okay, now we have a quarter. You can see if you didn't figure it out, we have to draw a line this way and this way in all of them. Now we've divided them all into a quarter, which is four parts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. All of them are the same. Now a quarter is saying that we need one part of four parts in total. Okay. So we've got four parts in total here. And now I want just one of them. So I'm going to color it in in your favorite color. I'm going to draw lines here. Okay. And now we can see that I have shaded one quarter of this circle. Okay. The same thing in the square. I have four parts in total. And I'm going to shade one quarter. It doesn't have to be the same quarter as the circle. So we're going to shade in this one, and I'm going to draw lines. You guys can do lines. You can color it in. Okay. And this is one quarter of the square. Okay. For these two at the bottom, we're going to divide them again. So see if you can draw some diagonal lines. That means we're going to draw lines this way and this way from corner to corner of the square, like that. See if you can do it, and then I'll show you right up. Okay, so I have divided these ones up again. And now let's count how many parts we have. In the square, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. And here, in the circle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's shade in a quarter again. So we're going to shade in the same amount of this circle over here. Let's see. You can color them in. I'm going to draw my lines again. And over here, we're going to do the same thing as up here, that much. But do you see this time we're taking two parts? So in this one and this one, we have 
8. We counted 8 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And how many parts have we shaded in? 1, 2. 1, 2. Which means that this one is 2 of 8 parts. So now we know that 1 quarter and 2 eighths is the same thing. We all know how to do halves. So if we take 2 eighths, 2 over 8, and we divide this one in half, so by 2, and we divide this one by 2, what do we get? What's half of 2? It's 1. What's half of 8? It's 4. So again, we have a quarter. 2 over 8 is the same as a quarter. Hopefully you guys got all of this down in your books, okay? And then tomorrow we'll carry on with some exercises for a quarter.